I think Li Ji Liang is putting himself in a victim mindset. You know, he went on he went on Ariel Hawani's show and he wore a shirt that said robbed. I mean, yeah, he got robbed. Hopefully he's just doing this for publicity, you know, to get attention. People bring attention. The more attention people put on something, the more likely something's going to get done. So hopefully he's just doing it for that reason and not for, you know, playing the victim because that's like horrible. That's a horrible thing to do. I know all, you know, yes, he was robbed. I agree. Everybody agrees that he was robbed. <laughs> but it's like, you can't put yourself in that victim mindset. Everybody's saying, oh, he was robbed. He was robbed. You know, he needs, they need to do something about that. And then, so that goes into Li Ji Liang's head. And he's like, oh yeah, I was robbed. Yeah, no, boo, you know. But that, I, I feel like that's like a negative thing to do. It should be more like, I was robbed, you know. But, you know, yeah, there's something should be done. But I don't care. I don't care. It's not about, you know, that. It's about working hard. And it's about pushing yourself. Like no matter what issues, problems arise. No matter how much you get ripped off. How much you know, uh, you get cheated, lied, whatever. It's like, you have to have that mentality of like, it doesn't matter, like I'm just gonna keep moving forward because once you get into that like victim mentality of like, oh, oh, poor me, you know, I, you know, the judges ripped me off, I was robbed, they need to change that, da, 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 da. It like sets you on this path of like weakness. Like that's like, that's like weak, right? Your, your mind becomes weak, like, Boo hoo, poor me, blah blah blah, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, screw that. It's like, yeah, I got robbed, whatever. Like, let's freaking do it again, you know? Let's do it again. Let's, uh, let's go. Like, it happens. That's what happens. And if they want to change it, they can change it. If they don't, they don't. Screw it. It's not going to mess with my, it's not going to mess with my mindset. I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to stay tough. And I'm going to come back stronger. This is going to make me work harder. This is going to make me work harder. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like having that victim mindset is not doing him any favors. It's easy to let everybody that's crying, you know, robbery influence you. And all of a sudden you develop that same mindset because everybody's saying it and you're like, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, and it's easy to be influenced by, by what other people say, but you can't let other people influence you because if you do, then you're just going down this path that could be detrimental to your career. That's all I'm saying. I think it'd be better off if he just was like, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna come back stronger, you know? Like hopefully they, you know, I don't think they're gonna overturn it, but hopefully they you know, do this rematch, let him fight again. And uh, you know, he comes back stronger. Well, we'll see. With this mentality, if they have a rematch, this victim mentality, he may not be as strong. I could be wrong. Who knows? But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Li Jing Ji Liang is being negatively influenced by the people crying that he got robbed? I mean, he wore that robbed shirt. It's like, hopefully he's just doing it for publicity and he's not really in that victim mentality. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.